We are 72 days away from Decision 2020. Already Arizona is gearing up, preparing plans to allow folks to vote during the pandemic. The president has cast doubt on the mail-in voting system, but what does it look like here in Arizona? Team 12's Michael Dowden shows us a closer look. That these elections will be fraudulent, they'll be fixed, they'll be rigged. A pandemic mixed with the president's comments and tweets has 2020 looking like an election unlike any other. Well, I thought that the post office has always done a good job. Who knows the results are going to be legit. Sometimes folks are being caught in the middle on issues like voting by mail. But what is the reality here? Oh, well, since 2018, we've had massive changes. I mean, uh, mostly introduced by the onset of COVID-19. Maricopa County recorder Adrian Fontes says the first major change is that we have more options, like new voting centers where you can vote early at no matter where you live in Maricopa County. It's all about voting access and trying to keep you safe, says Arizona Secretary of State Katie Hobbs. Voters should never have to choose between their health and their right to vote. And if you don't want to vote in person, well, there's mail-in voting, an Arizona staple for decades. I don't like this mail-in ballot deal. For all the, all the naysayers who say that it isn't a secure way to vote, that people can vote multiple times or whatever else, um, we just know that that's not true. Now, election officials say security protocol has not changed and that each ballot is checked to make sure it's the real deal. And one of those safety measures includes the barcode attached here. That's attached to a signature, which is double checked by officials. And it's also used for when you mail it back, well, to be able to track it. And 2020 is already expected to be a record breaking year when it comes to voting. But election officials want to give you options, whether you vote in person, drop off a ballot, or vote by mail. Of course, to be able to vote, you have to be registered. And the deadline to register to vote is coming up in early October. We have a link for you to be able to do that and links to all the important deadlines online on 12news.com and the brand new 12 News app. We're in Phoenix, Michael Doudna, 12 News.